Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently spreading throughout Africa and we need to continue to conquer the areas of Guinea down over here. We're also working primarily, although it's not something that we can really hard focus on, we're working primarily towards becoming feudal and that's going to be the big thing that we need at this point. So we're currently about 16 years away from mustering grounds and 7 from quilted armor. Okay, after Quilted Armor, I think we'll go for mods, for sure. But our current fascination speed, as we can see, is reasonably fast. There's a 65% chance to gain 0.42 progress each month. So the average development of Bobo Counties is definitely coming up here. It's now plus 0.12, which is really, really solid. We can see here in Kong North, we have a development of 18, which is getting really good. So we don't have any additional constructions we can do until we get either mots or feudalism. So we're good on that. And at this point, pretty much all we can do is expand as we wait. So we can attack your Rubilant, although we're truced there. We could also attack this guy with our de jure claim. I'm just checking in each of these. Yeah, those are all just chiefdoms. So we would just do de jure duchy claims. Oh, that's terrible. That's a better de jure duchy claim for sure. This is just a county. So, I want to check in real quick. Where is the border of Canaan Bornu? Okay, so we almost have all of Guinea. We're going to need two wars here, and then we're going to need to attack Yerubaland, which is itself going to need how much? Hang on. There we go. How much are we going to need here? So, we've got two de jure duchies here as well. Okay. So, with that in mind, we are incredibly close to having all of Guinea under our control. Now, on next succession, we should expect Mali, not Guinea, to go away from us. So, let's take a quick look at that, real quick. Yeah, we're going to lose 11 titles on succession. That's going to be a problem, of course. Confederate partition is not great. But we can't change off of that, and we don't expect to be able to. Currently, like, we don't even have Gabelkind researched, right? <laughs> that gives plus one domain limit. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. And of course, a building slot for Ledger as well. So all of that would be very good. We would definitely like to get Gavelkind and, and Ledger as soon as we can, but we're a ways away from that. Now I want to take a look at how, how quick Mustering Grounds is spreading. A 45% chance to gain the same amount of progress. Okay, noted. So our fascination is definitely 20% better than the exposure. That's very, very good to know. So I'm going to declare on this guy for the de jure duchy of Quora Rafa out over here. So we're going to declare that and we're going to raise up some forces here. Let's raise up our men at arms as well as a few levy troops. Uh, four locations. Sure, we can go for about 12,000 troops. So that looks good. We have about enough. I'm going to give it one more tick and these guys are going to head up and chase these down. And then we're going to split this in half and split it in half again and then split this in half. Now we've got four units. We're going to take one here, one here, one here, and one here. While our men-at-arms are going to go chase down these guys. Excellent. I want just the men-at-arms selected. Oh, they're actually just going to let us catch them. Beautiful. So this war is over. We don't need to do any additional orders. This is likely going to stack wipe. Yep, it did indeed. And now we have all of their locations under siege. We actually don't even need these guys to be raised anymore, in theory. So we could preserve a little bit of prestige for that. Ooh, a learning lifestyle experience trait? Yeah, let's go. Pay 90 gold and, and gain 50 experience. Or we can try a, chal a learning challenge here. We'll try the learning challenge. We'll gain some stress from it, but that'll be fine. So, we'll attempt to outperform in a duel using our diplomacy skill. So, what is your diplomacy? 2 to 16. I mean, that seems decent. Myself in disguise, of course. We do end up getting a bunch of stress from this, and that is concerning. This will take seven months for these guys to return home. Ooh, apparently we failed. Okay. Well, that was a lot of stress for sure. We could talk to our friend and lose some of that stress, and that's indeed exactly what we're going to do. 
But we'll just get this done over here. What is this? Uh, this is a dagger? No, it's too expensive. Okay. So that'll be fine. We can definitely get rid of some of these by destroying them in order to get some gold. And that's certainly something we're potentially interested in doing. We could repair this. It's 19 years out. I don't think we need to. Prestige and powerful vassal counselor tax income. Let's do it. That seems fine. We can equip this regalia. And we have this weapon here as well, which I guess we could do. We don't have an armor or crown item at this point. That's fine. So we're going to wrap up these sieges soon enough. This war will be over very, very swiftly. In fact, it is over. They just need to realize it. We just finished increasing control in one of our counties over here, and I think we have one more that we need to do. Yes, although it's very close. So that'll get finished very soon as well. So that looks great. Now, we are currently 32. So hopefully we don't die all that soon. We're going to enforce these demands. There we go. That territory is now ours, but we don't want to hold it. We'll just grant that right on out like so. Cool. Now, we've got this that we're truced and this that we're theoretically truced as well. Oh, this truce is over. Okay. So we could think potentially about offering vassalage. 88 reasons to not do this. I think she's just not going to because she's technically a queen. What is the kingdom title like? We could usurp that away from her, but she's not going to join at that point. So I don't know that there's a point in doing that other than getting the prestige from it, which would probably be a good thing. But let's just go down over here for now. We'll raise up probably, well, we'll raise up our men-at-arms like before and 6,000 troops here. No, there's this one up here as well. It's going to be 9,000 troops. Okay, this is more than enough. So we'll split it in half, and then this in half again. These guys are going to go here. These guys are going to go here. These guys are going to go here. And our men-at-arms are not here yet because we put them down early. That's fine. They'll be here quite soon. Six months left on their gather. They only have 700 troops here, so this is not really a concern. This war is over. They just don't know it yet. Cool. About 25 days until our men-at-arms show up. And they're sieging here. Okay, we're just going to walk over there as soon as we arrive. And there we go. Our troops have arrived. We'll fight them here. That should be a stack wipe. And then we'll just put these guys down again. And just wrap up the sieges. Actually, with how quickly we're sieging, we might not even want to put them down again. Depending on what we capture out of this. We'll see. So we're going to fight these guys here. War's over. We don't need to fight at all. So we'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. We'll grant Ido over to a noble of the Bobo culture. Looks great. So at this point, we've nearly got two entire de jure empires under us. We own all of Mali and we own all but two counties in Guinea. That is looking very, very solid. So I want to take a quick look at our legitimacy here. Okay. We're making progress on that, but we're not quite where we want to be yet. And we want to start breaking into some of these other de jure empires. Maghreb is up here and Kanem Bornu is over here. Those are the only two options at this juncture. So something like Enbia here would be an interesting thing to attack. It would just be Duchy Conquers. We can't go for this down here, apparently. And these would be very heavy on the prestige cost. I'm wondering if we could maybe get some of these guys to join us, but that's kingdom tier. This is duchy tier. Hmm. We're not his rightful liege. Cultural acceptance. Okay. For the time being, we're definitely a little bit low on prestige. We can probably do something about that. We could make titles. That is option one. Or we could hold the grand tournament. And we have the gold for that, especially with these ransoms coming in. Prisoner and vassal. No, get out of here. This is fine, though. Let's plan ourselves a grand tournament here in Kong. What are we best at? We've got archery and recital, wrestling, duel, board game, and horse race. We'll go with wrestling. That'll be fine for now. And we are going to participate in the contest. So we could put as our champion someone like this guy. Sure, that'll work. 
Triumph is our goal here and maxing accommodations and prizes. So this is going to cost us 775 gold. But we're here for the prestige, right? That's the overall goal. So we want to go to the tourney grounds and train for the tournament. No time to lose in. So we are going to... Hmm. We're trying to impress our wife, apparently, but this is going to gain us stress no matter what because we're humble and lustful. Yikes. Okay. Well, our stress went up. We may need to visit the tavern to drop our stress. So we'll do that here in 10 days. We are guaranteed to qualify. So that sounds good. Let's head over to the tavern. Oof. We're going to we're going to gain additional stress. And now we we will likely not qualify. That did not go well at all. Well, we're going to head back to the tourney ground. This loses us stress. This would gain us stress but increase our score. We're not qualifying right now, so we have to take the stress. Now we could go back to the tavern here and hopefully reduce our stress this time. It backfired last time, but let's see what happens here. Okay, losing 39 stress. Oh, man, we rolled badly again. We're likely not going to qualify again because we got a 10% chance roll there. Oh, we are engaged in the wrestling, though, with a 0% progress to victory, I think. No, we did not actually qualify. That is really, really sad. We rolled incredibly poorly there. There's not much that we could have done there, I think. I think we played it correctly. We did lose our stress level, so there is that. But that is rough. That backfired on us pretty badly. We did gain a little bit of prestige. I mean, a good amount of prestige. But even so, who are you? No, get out of here. That, that didn't go all that well. We did not qualify for the wrestling tournament, and that was just a 10% roll there. Very, very sad. Oh, well, we gained enough prestige to make it still worthwhile. So that seems fine. We do have a empty counselor, counselor position here. We need a spy master. It'll be this guy. That seems fine. And beyond that, we're still interested in attacking out over this way, right? Do we want to make our way into Maghreb or into Canaan border? Well, Maghreb is definitely a lot bigger. No doubt about that. We could just kind of progress along these fronts, working through truce timers. So we can just go through duchies. That's almost certainly what we're going to have to do. This is only two duchies here. This is a lot more. This is five counties, and it's not connected technically, but we will connect it up. And we could connect it potentially over here. Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to raise up our forces here. I'm going to raise everyone. This is a lot of areas that we're going to be attacking, right? Sao is relatively large compared to some of these areas that we've been fighting previously. So that's fine. We're raising up all of our forces. I'm going to split off our men-at-arms. How strong is this guy? Yeah, he's not very strong. So I'm going to split off our men-at-arms here as well as our knights. Are we lacking acclaimed knights? We might be. We are. We can appoint someone as the Scorpion of Kong Norse, and I would like to do that. That'll be Sarah. There we go. And we could recruit to get recruit to court Omer here, and I'm going to do that. He does not serve as a knight, but now he does. Okay, so there's a successor there. Now, this other accolade, it, the, the most expert of the Mel Spears, is inactive. We're going to need it to... Restore accolades. 600 prestige. Okay, that's painful, but we'll do it. So I'm going to split this in half, and then in half again, and then in half again. We're going to bring these guys up over here, and then these guys up over to here. This unit is going to be split in half, and we're going to bring them here. And then I want these guys here. Yeah, there's going to be a fair amount of attrition there. That's understood. Now, I'm going to split these in half, and then in half again. They're going to come here. And what units aren't moving right now? There are some that aren't moving. I want to see. 
Okay, so we've got these guys not moving. We see their army up over here, so we're going to get started heading that way. This force is going to head here. These guys get split in half and start to head here. And then the last unit that isn't moving is heading over to here for now. Yeah, this is a lot of attrition. No doubt about it. Now, Canem is in this war. That's noted. Eight of seven. We just inherited something. What did we just inherit? We shouldn't have eight of seven. Here. Gotcha. Grant that out. There we go. Cool. So these guys are going to make their way up over here for now. And we're just going to siege our way on in. Okay. There's a scheme at court. That's fine. We see that they have about 6,000. I'm going to link up with this force over here. Are they splitting up? No. They're not. I'm going to tell these guys to station besiegers. And we're going to deselect this unit. No, I want to deselect it. And keep these guys together. Group up. And we're going to head in and attack here. Now, we see them moving around this direction. That's reasonably fine. We're going to look to catch them and not let them isolate one of our forces here. We need to pursue them. This looks good. We should win this battle, despite the fact that this is saying the chances are even. They do have a better army commander. Apparently, they have more men-at-arms counter. Hang on a moment. That doesn't seem right. We counter basically everything that they have. Well, if we need to bring in more forces, we can do that. We'll see how this goes. I kind of expect to win this. But they are defending in hills. A better army commander is concerning. But we have better men-at-arms, I believe. So let's head on in here and see what happens. Yeah, we win this, as expected. So that seems good. No problem whatsoever. We did just lose our spy master in that battle. That's sad. But not the end of the world. Hmm. The sword song would be made into a court artifact. Or we could gain some prestige out of it. And that's what I'm going to do. We're going to gain some quick prestige here. These guys are going to merge in out over here. Looks good. We win this battle. But of course, that is not the end of the world, right? We do not, like, not the end of the war, I should say. We do not end up stack wiping them. So we have to be concerned about that. And I'm going to walk these guys up over here. We're finishing up these sieges. We're at 83% war score right now. War is done now because of our sieges. Perfect. We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. So we need to hand out these titles. This is at this point an exclave. And we don't really want it to be an exclave, but here we are. I want to check in on how many we need in Canaan Bornu. 37, and we have 15. Okay, so that's not that much more. We need about 22 counties. Okay, so we just cut Sao in half, and they're not going to be happy about that. But we need to attack Canem next. I want to check in down here. Are these truces up yet? No. So we'll attack Canem next. Probably doing a Duchy Conqueror. This Duchy Conqueror is not ideal. It's three. That's only one. Ooh, here we go. This will connect us up over this way and that is four counties that seems good so we're going to declare that we just fought these guys so they are significantly weakened and we're going to raise up our own forces yet again down over here so we're going to raise are we going to raise all forces again yes yes we are oh we have a learning perk we should definitely take that scholar fantastic so that gives us five learning 15 percent development growth Fantastic. I mean, yeah, it makes schemes a little easier, but that's okay. So, of course, enemy allies are joining the war, which is not expected. Or rather, which is expected. Fully expected. They're going to try to fight us again, and it's going to go as poorly as it did last time, to be honest. Okay, so I'm going to do this a little bit differently this time. We know that their total troop count is about 4,000. So that means that we can probably win this, actually, with just these. I don't think we need to do things any differently. Did we ever get that other acclaimed knight back, by the way? Like, did anybody show up for this? Yes, Malo. Okay, perfect. So that'll do, and we can actually raise him as well. How long will it take him to get here? A few days? Sure. 
So I'm going to take these guys up this way to try to intercept this force, and we'll put this guy in charge. Now, I'm going to bring these guys over as a group here. Perfect. So we're just going to fight these guys, and that is going to substantially swing the tides here. I'm going to bring these over here. It's a few levy troops, but it's also our acclaimed knight. Okay, so that's a stack wipe. Okay. Apparently, we had a successor after that battle. Noted. We're bringing these guys in and looking to catch over here. They have to go here or he Actually, they are going this way. Mm, this is fine. I'm just going to group these guys together out over here. And we're going to attack here. Now, I'm going to split this in half, and I'm going to split this in half. They're going to come up over here, split this in half, and these guys are going to head over to here. Okay. Looks good. We're going to get those sieges underway. I want to eliminate this force. We can catch them in theory down over here. Hmm. We can translate the book, and that is definitely something that we want to do as a scholar. Pursuing these guys down. All is looking good over here. They're thinking about joining up over here, I feel like. Okay. We're going to look to catch them right here. They're trying to run. But we're right behind them, so this is okay. Translation quality will improve slightly. This is a lot of stress. I don't think we need to have the most high-quality translation. Okay. So they're trying to loop around and cut off our... Actually, no. They're not even going that way. I don't know what they're doing. They just went here, then here. Which means that part of their force gets caught. That was a big misplay on their part. Let's go take their capital. Sounds good. And then let's head on over here. They're just trying to lead us on a merry chase. That's okay. No major concerns here. So these guys can come down and siege here, I suppose. No point in not doing that. Yeah, significant translation quality improvement. And some learning lifestyle experience. Excellent. War is over, and we're going to enforce those demands and disband our troops. So we'll need to hand out these titles. No problem whatsoever there. Cool. So we've definitely created a little bit of border gore here. We've got these guys, and we've got these guys, right? So we definitely need to do something about that. I want to come over here and check to see if we can declare on either of those. We're still truced with both. So not too much to be done over there. Over here, we're truced with everybody that we can fight. So at this point, air is the target. We have a de jure duchy up here, which kind of surprises me. Gobir is considered de jure? Because of Houseland. Okay, that'll do it. Yep, that makes sense. So that's okay. They're definitely split a bit here. So this is really only one single county. We could do this, though. And this would actually cost us piety. Intriguing. Do it. This is going to create more border gore. I'm aware of that. We will come back and clean this up. So we're going to raise up about 9,000 levy troops here. Okay. That'll do. And we're going to split this in half, moving them up to here. And then split this in half, moving them from here to here. We just inherited Edo, and we're going to need to deal with that. And then we'll move these guys up. And as soon as we're done gathering, you can come up as well. Okay, so we just inherited Edo, which was down here. We'll grant that over. Perfect. We do not want to hold that. And let's begin our sieges here. Excellent. So we see their forces there. This should be plenty of soldier budget to make our way through here. They're actually going to let us fight them here. Wild. I guess they're in the mountains, so that seems okay. But yeah, this is not going to go well for them at all. So in we go here. No problem. Excellent. We gained a stress level because our brother died. Okay, he bled out after a lengthy torture session. Rude. How, how dare he stress us out like that? Ugh. Disgusting. We, of course, do need to do something about this. We have two accolades that lack successors, and we should probably think about that. We could seek a worthy accolade successor here, but we lack the prestige for that. And then out over here, we could do the same. Okay, so in both cases, we lack the prestige. 
I was hoping we just happen to have one, but sadly that is not the case. Okay, so this siege is now over, putting us at 100% war score. I didn't expect that to end the war, but sure, we'll take it. So that actually put us in another war out over here. So we're now in a defensive conflict. I guess I'll send these guys over. We don't need this army or this army, but they need to be moved to a defensive area. We did get a new lifestyle perk, which is good. And we are going to grab what? Anatomical studies? Sure. I guess that's fine. I want to stay on, on scholarship focus for now. So that'll be fine. We're at 9 of 7. Of course, we need to grant these out. And we'll do exactly that. Now, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to wrap up this war. Not like it'll take long. It's a very simple defensive war for us. And that'll be absolutely fine. Then we'll work on cleaning up some of this border gore. No doubt about that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kentogan, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.